about 10 minutes, I explored this uh, IOS in anti-grade wiring of uh, CTOs. But if you look at algorithms, you know, APCTO algorithm and global CTO algorithm, in fact, even hybrid algorithm and, you know, Chinese algorithm, what we can prominently see is proximal cap ambiguity is something which, you know, so where we use IOS uh, for cap puncture. And the next thing is when your wire ends up in, you know, subintimal plane. So I was guided anti-grade wiring is something which is uh, clearly given a weightage in APC2 algorithm, uh, unlike other algorithms. And also when nothing works anti-gradely, again, I was guided wiring is something, you know, which was uh, given a uh, place in algorithm. So this clearly differentiates, you know, these algorithms uh, basically approach of operators, you know, belief systems and, you know, culture of operators uh, from east to west. And being a follower of Eastern uh, CTO methodologies, I also use more of, you know, I was uh, in anti-grade wiring of CTOs. And these are the areas where we can use ambiguous proximal cap entry. You know, I was guided entry into side branches within the CTO I was guided anti-grade wiring of true lumen and I was guided tip detection ADR in the situations which were uh, discussed just now by Dr. Sanjok. Uh, coming to a proximal cap entry, you know, I was guided proximal cap entry. So the dangers with this is like this, you know, if you go anti-grade without knowing how you are going, so you can uh, occlude your side branch with a dissection flap. If you go retrograde also, you can do same thing. So that's why, the best strategy is do an I was gated cap puncture followed by you know rest of the wiring strategy, and to do an I was gated cap puncture, the prerequisite is uh, you need to have a good side branch, uh, a length at least uh, equivalent to the tip to um, you know transducer distance of uh, I was, and the angulation should be uh, less than seventy degrees. You know you can see here. The angulation is quite uh, good for this LED cap puncture through these ramus, but from subtle to you know LED cap puncture, this is uh, something which uh, where visibility won't be that great. So, and so what's the most important step here is identification of proximal cap, so which you can identify by observing you know the horizon for a, a branch coming and joining your main branch. So you can see here, so something is appearing here and which comes closer to the branch and then it joins. You can see the media is disappeared here. There is no media here. And also you can see the jump in size. So these are the two signs, you know, uh, one is disappearance of media. Second is jump in size, which makes you understand the location of proximal cap and See, if the branch is like 90 degrees, it is very difficult to understand. Also, when the cap is calcified, again, it is very difficult to do, you know, I was guided cap puncture. So uh, the systems, you can use seven French or eight French system based on what microcatheter you are using and what I was catheter you, uh, you are using. And which way to use in this situation? See, uh, obviously, you know, the stiff whites, you know, uh, yeah, are... Yeah, that's the position. So stiff whites are ideal for this situation. So you can see this is Gaia and this is, you know, Harnet, how they behave. This wire buckles and this wire goes straight. So this is the main feature, you know, which we need for uh, cap puncture. And you can see these are the three whites, Harnet and Confiance, uh, 110 or 14. So whose tip bend stiffness is quite high. And that's the reason, you know, they are right whites for uh, cap puncture and shape of the wire. Uh, you can see this is uh, a band at one millimeter as well as another band at you know four to six millimeters, and the primary band is basically uh, a secondary band is something you know which you have to adjust to, to the angle of attack you know uh, uh, of the uh, cap. So you can see here this is a harnet wire. So locate harnet wire and uh, keep it onto the cap and then push inside. So that's what we are doing. So this is wiring once you wire you have to confirm again the wire is in the cap you can see here so uh, uh, to confirm uh, you have to see every frame to understand the wire is within the media you can see here this is a wire and this is uh, within the media here 
and again this is a y and you can see this is within the media and this is the y and you can see it is the between the two hinge points of the confluence so that says you know your cap puncture is perfect the moment you understand you know your uh, puncture is correct you advance microcatheter in and remove this wire and uh, de-escalate your wire to Gaia 2 and continue exploring rest of the CTO. So never try to advance uh, this harnet or conquest further because that might go subintimal because of the uh, cow, cow of the uh, you know uh, wire. So coming to the side branch entries within the CTO that where we use, you can see here an LED CTO. Uh, clearly, there is a diagonal which is also occluded, you know, proximally. So we wide uh, LED, and you can see the wide uh, position is quite good. And we balloon dilated it, and still diagonal was not there. So which means it is still occluded. Again, it's same like you know uh, ambiguous cap puncture. So uh, do an IVIS and you can locate, you can see uh, somewhere at uh, one o'clock, you will see, yeah, this is the side branch. So which you can locate, which was not visible in NGO. And then we wired, you can see this is a wire. So wired the uh, diagonal and you can confirm. And after wiring, we advanced microcatheter. You can also confirm microcatheter position. See, this is a microcatheter, which is bulkier than, you know, the wire. So uh, on imaging. So once you confirmed it, you can see this is microcatheter and this is Y. And then you can finish your procedure. You can see the diagonal is uh, patterns now. And we can also use IVAS guided anti-grade wiring, especially when your wire uh, is subintimal. So like this case, an ambiguous cap, we did an IVAS guided cap puncture, uh, but subsequently the wire ended up in subintima. You can see here. And we tried parallel wire, but uh, it was not successful. And you can also see the lumen got collapsed. So that's what happens when you try, you know, redirecting wire or when you try parallel fire for longer time, you know, your subintimal space expands and the uh, lumen collapses. That's when, you know, you can use uh, IVIS to locate your true lumen and, you know, wire it. So that's what we did it. So you can take IVIS on this wire and then locate and take parallelly, you know, a microcatheter and then wire and uh, uh, track your true lumen. Or otherwise, you can also do a tip, uh, tip detection area. So either of these two can be done. Uh, otherwise, other option is re going retrograde. So, uh, but uh, by doing image guided wiring, we can avoid, you know, retrogrades uh, in such scenarios. So what we did, took IVIS, you can see this is IVIS, and this is a harnet wire, and we identified that this is a true lumen, you can see at, uh, you know, uh, six to eight o'clock position, and this is a true lumen, and then with the tip detection, we uh, advanced wire, you can see now the wire is in uh, true lumen, this is harnet wire, and once harnet is inside, you advance microcatheter into the true lumen, then de-escalate your wire, that's important. So uh, we de-escalated wire to filter, but it didn't progress. So that's why I, I had to take, you can see this is a wire in the true lumen. Uh, as it not progressed, so I had to again escalate to Gaia 3 and you know uh, finish procedure. And you can see here, so it's quite nice and all the side branches are intact. So this is IVAS guided anti-grade wiring. But sometimes we can also do a tip detection ADR, like in this case, you know, where LCX total occlusion, you can see the wire went completely subintimal till end, and we decided to go ahead, you know, with the tip detection ADR. You can see this is a true lumen, and this is entirely false lumen wherein I was was sitting, and you can see this is a wire. Sorry, uh, so this is uh, the wire. Uh, this is. You can see this is a wire, you know, which is into true lumen, which by tip detection, you know, we directed it, and uh, and subsequently, you know, we only did uh, POBA. So since there was a huge subintimal hematoma, and we achieved a good result here. So I mean, uh, we can do tip detection ADR with even Boston Ivers since uh, 
Uh, we don't have anti-wall IVAS catheter in India. So these are the case reports from both Europe as well as North America uh, with first experience of tube detection ADR with uh, Opticross uh, uh, catheters. To conclude, I was clear the uh, ambiguity of proximal cap and complete, complete I was guided proximal cap puncture is the way to go in ambiguous cap. Both identification, wiring of cap, and confirmation of central entry by I was everything has to be done under I was. And, and when anti grade wire is in sub intima with poor distal vessel visibility, I was guided true lumen entry or a tip detection ADR are good options with which we can uh, reduce our number of retrogrades as well as you know, complications. Thank you.